Hello boys and girls and welcome to our math lesson for today, Monday. We are going to work on lesson 12.5 today. It's going to be problem solving and um, making new two-dimensional shapes. We are on page 695. That's the page that we are right now. So if you need to look for that page, it should be on your packet. It should, it should be the first math lesson on your packet. So let's go ahead and read the problem that we have over here. It says, Cora wants to combine uh, shapes to make a circle. She has this shape. It's um, like a quarter of a circle. So I'm going to show it to you right now. This is the shape that she has. You see? We need four of these to make one circle. How can Cora make a circle? Well, let's go ahead and see says what do I need to find well what I need to find is how Cora can make a circle so we go ahead and we trace the word circle we're gonna trace it all right and then over here it says what information do I need to use well I need to use that Cara uses this shape Cara it's only going to use this shape so I'm going to trace it we need four of these to make one circle. So basically, this is your circle. So one circle is made out of four of these shapes. So each of them is a quarter of a circle. All right, so let's take a look at the steps. It says, show how to solve the problem. And here we have a step number one. What is the first step to solve this problem? We're going to use shapes. We're going to combine them to make a new shape. So if we put these two together, boys and girls, this is what you get, right? And I need to go ahead and, and trace it. So you get a semicircle, right? By putting two of these together, I'm going to do it over here as well. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to show you how we put two of those together and we make a semicircle. So over here you can see it, you have two of those quarter of a circles. When you put them together, you get a semicircle. So now let's change um, its position really quick so you can see them. So we have one on top and the other one on the bottom. Because that's what, we, what you're going to see now. Alright, so after you have one semicircle, it says step number two, then use the new shape. We're going to use the new shape twice. So we have one dome or semicircle over here and one over here. When we put them together, what happens? What shape do you get? You get a circle, right? And I'm going to show you really, really quick. I'm going to show you over here. I'm going to repeat what what I did. I have two semicircles. I put them together. And now I have one circle. So how many of, of those did I use? I used one, two, three, four. All right, we're going to go ahead and turn the page now. Here we go. Let's take a look at number one. There, there are a few things that we need. We have to keep in mind. It says, what do I need to find? What information do I need to use? So very important that you keep that in mind. Number one, it says, use shapes to solve. Draw to show your work. So we're going to be using lines in addition to the shapes that I have here to show you. It says, use squares to make a larger square. So we're going to use squares to make something bigger than a square combine shapes to make a new shape all right so we have two squares boys and girls and this is step number one we put them together we put the two squares together and i draw a line so you can see the two squares you put the two squares together and um step number two then use the new shape how how did i use the new shape i had one rectangle right but if I put two rectangles together, I get a big square, right? I'm going to show you really quick again, right? 
So here I have two squares, right? Two squares. I put two squares again together. What do I get? I get a rectangle, right? But, oh no, oh no. Okay, but if I put two rectangles together, what do I have now? I have a big square, right? So that's what you had here. You had two squares, you put them together, you form a rectangle, you repeat the shape, and you put two rectangles together and you got a big square. I know this is kind of tricky. It's all right. All right, boys and girls. Number two, we're going to use triangles to make a rectangle. So I'm going to put these shapes that I have over here away. And I'm going to show you really quick. All right. So I have two triangles here. I have two triangles here. And I want you to look at them. Two triangles. These are the two triangles that you have in your book. I'm on number two right now. Two triangles. We're going to see how two triangles make a square. Here are my two triangles. I try to put them on the same position that they are on your book. How can you form a square using two triangles? Very easy. We have to play around with the triangles. Do they form a square if I put them this way? No. How about if I put them this way? Do they form a square? No. How about if I put them like these? Does, do they form a square? <gasps> yes, it does. They do form a square. I can see four sides. One, two, three, and four. Four sides equal length. So here we see how two triangles form a square. If you draw a line like this right here, you can see the two triangles right there. They form a square. Now step number two. You have you have one square and you if you repeat that shape you have two squares right so we have one square plus another square what shape do you have now you have a rectangle two long sides and two short sides that's the shape that you got here so once again number two you have two triangles together they form a square and if you repeat that shape you're gonna have two squares, right? Two squares, each of them it's made by using two triangles. Now, four triangles form a rectangle. The, the, the book is just trying to show you, boys and girls, how in like how many different ways you can use to to form new shapes. You see? And the different shapes that compose the other shapes. All right, here we go. Number three. Number three, we're going to use triangles again to make a rectangle. Now, this is a tricky one because I don't have uh, these type of triangles to make the rectangle. So we're going to have to draw the line. All right, so if we draw the line the same way that we did for the square, you can see that here you have, let's see if I can shade it for you. Oh, sorry about that. So here you have one, here you have one triangle, and over here you have another triangle. You don't have to color these, it's just so I can show you. You can see the triangles that are forming this rectangle. So you can say, boys and girls, that a rectangle can be made out of two triangles or out of four triangles. You see? All right. So this rectangle, it's made out of two triangles, these two triangles. We're going to repeat that shape. When we repeat that shape, boys and girls, this is what you have. When, when you repeat the shape, you have two rectangles, right? Two rectangles. What happens when we put two rectangles together? What new shape did you get? You're right, that is a square. So can you see how a square it's made out of two rectangles? And I'm gonna draw the line over here, you see? We combine, we use two triangles to make one rectangle. We double the rectangle, we make two rectangles, we put them together, and now you get a square. All right, so here we go. Um, to number four, the tricky one, because this thing's smarter. 
All right, so it says use a trapezoid in a triangle to make parallelogram. Combine shapes to make new shapes. So how can we use a trapezoid in a triangle to make a big triangle? Very easy. Sadly, I don't have those shapes either here at home with me. So I want you to I want you to look at this. What happens if we draw a triangle right here on top? You see, we put this triangle on top. I'm gonna shade it for you. You still have your trapezoid. Your trapezoid is still here. So your trapezoid is still here. You see it? It's right there. Your trapezoid is right right there. But then your triangle is right here. So as you can see, boys and girls. Oh, sorry about that. As you can see, boys and girls, one big triangle, it's made out of a trapezoid and a smaller triangle on top. Hmm. Now, let's see what we have to do. It says, then use the new shape. So if we draw another big triangle and we combine them, how can we make a parallelogram using two big triangles? Very easy, boys and girls. We're going to draw a line over here so you can see it. You can see one triangle, one big triangle over here, and another big triangle over here. You see? So, two big triangles, two of these can make a parallelogram, right? And it, you can also say that this is a rhombus. If you, if you move it around, it looks like a rhombus. All right, boys and girls. I know this is tricky. We're just looking into the shapes, right? All right. So here we have a little quiz that comes with this lesson. So I want you to go ahead and write your name and your last name at the top of the page. Very important, boys and girls, that we write our name and last name at the top of this page. This is your mid-chapter checkpoint. It's like a little quiz right in the middle to see how well you're understanding this, this uh, chapter. All right. So let's see what number one says. Let's see what we have to do in number one and two because it's basically the same. It says write the number of sides and vertices. The vertices are also the corners. So let's do the sides first. How many sides does this shape have? This shape has one, two, three, and four sides. You have to write the number. Go ahead and, and, and write it. The trapezoid has four sides. We count four sides, yes, we counted them. All right? So four sides. The trapezoid has four sides. You need to write it. Tienen que escribir lo que tiene cuatro lados. How about the vertices? How many vertices does he have? How many vertices? These are the vertices. You count the vertices and write it down. Quiero que cuenten el número de vértices y escriban el nombre aquí. Vamos a contar cuántos vértices hay y escribir el nombre aquí. You're going to count how many vertices are there and write the number. All right, we're moving down to number two. Number two, we have a hexagon. So before we do the vertices, we're going to do the sides. How many sides does the hexagon have? How many sides? These are the sides. Before I do that. Okay, how many sides? These are the sides. Count the sides. These are the sides. Count the sides and then you write the number. You're gonna count each side of the hexagon and write how many. If you want to um, draw a line like I did before, it's easier. So, um, you don't count them again. You count them. You're going to write how many sides does the trapezoid, does the hexagon have? Don't forget, hexa means six. How many sides does the hexagon have? And then, how many vertices? How many vertices does it have? ¿Cuántos vertices tiene? The vertices are the corners. How many vertices does it have? These are the vertices. Where two lines, where two sides meet, 
they form a vertex. So how many vertices does it have? ¿Cuántos vertices tiene el hexagon? You're going to write it down right there. Lo van a escribir aquí, el número de vértices. ¿Cuántos vértices tiene? Aquí va el número de sides. Sides son los lados. Vertices are the corners. Las esquinitas. All right, boys and girls. So let's move on to number three. Circle the shapes that can combine to make the new shape. So this is the new shape. What are the shapes that you can see here? Well, we're going to draw lines. What are the shapes that you see, boys and girls? Do you see this shape? This is a quarter of a circle. Do you see it? What shape is this? Do you see it? It might not be in the same position, but it's there. It's one of these. You're going to circle two of these. Two of these. Out of the three shapes that you have here, you're going to circle two of them. De las tres figuras que tienen aquí, van a circularme dos. Hay dos de estas tres figuras que forman esta que está aquí. Once again, out of these three shapes, you are going to choose two of them. Two of these shapes form this shape that you see here. Dos de estas figuras forman esta figura que ven aquí. Which ones um, are those? You circle them. All right, number four. Number four, which new shape can you make? What is the new shape that you can make? All right, so um, using, using a square, using a quarter of a circle, and using this other shape, what, what shape can you make? So it says that after you put this part, I'm going to show you really quick. Okay, this is what you have, boys and girls. Hold on. Let me see if I can bring them over here so it's easier for you to see. Okay, so you get a square, and you get this other shape, and you put them one on top of the other. You put one on top of the other. And now you have two of these. Let me see if I can get another one. Okay. So this one, both of them are facing the same way. Both of them are facing, like facing that way, right? Alright, so let's see. If we put them together, what do we get? What shape do we get when we put them together? Ooh. Which one is the shape that we can get when we put them together? When we put these with these, what do we get? Do we get these? Do we get the square? Do we get the circle? Or do we get the rectangle? Which of these shapes looks like this one here? ¿Cuál de estas figuras luce como la de aquí? You're going to bubble it in. You're going to bubble in under the shape that looks like this one. You're going to bubble in. Bubble in. Which one is it? Van a marcar debajo, van a colorear debajo de la figura que es igual a esta. All right, boys and girls, I'm going to guide you really, really quick um, on the homework. And let's see what we have to do. We're done with the lesson 12.5. Well, let's, um, let's see what we have to do with the homework. It says, use squares to make a rectangle. So step one, you combine the shapes to make a new shape. You combine two squares and they form a rectangle. So two squares form a rectangle. Now we double the rectangle, right? We use the new shape. We double the rectangle. We put the two rectangles together. What do we get? We get a rhombus, right? We have two rectangles. We put them together and we get a rhombus. It, it also looks like a square. All right, number two, use pictures to show how you can make a new shape using a combined shape made from two trapezoids. So do you remember the trapezoids? This is a trapezoid. This is one trapezoid. And if you draw another trapezoid, boys and girls, what do you get? You put this trapezoid on the top with the other trapezoid on the bottom. What do they make? Let me see if I have a space over here so I can draw it for you. If you put one trapezoid on top of the other one, 
you are going to get a hexagon. One trapezoid on top of the other one makes a hexagon. All right, so we have a little bit of the same again. It says, number one, which new shape could you make? Circle your answer. So once again here, they use two triangles to make a square. Two triangles, two triangles to form a square. This is a square. Now, we doubled the square. Now we have two squares. What shape can you form out of two squares? Can you form a rectangle? Can you form a circle? Can you form a triangle or a square? So you're putting together two squares. What shape would you make? You circle the shape that you will make. Oh, three-dimensional shape. Circle the shape that has no flat surfaces. Which one is the only curved shape? The sphere. You're so bright and so smart, boys and girls. And then number three, which flat surface does a cylinder have? Circle your answer. So which one is the flat surface that a cylinder have? This is a cylinder. A cylinder it looks like a can. What is the flat surface on the cylinder? ¿Cuál es la superficie plana de un cilindro? It's the top and the bottom, right? So how does the top and the bottom look? They look like what? Do they look like a rectangle? Do they look like a circle? Do they look like a triangle? Or do they look like a square? You're so right. It, the, both of the flat surfaces on the cylinder look like a circle. All right, boys and girls, that was it uh, for our lesson. Um, today, when you finish, or um, even if you want to do it now, you can do it now. Do not forget, boys and girls, that today you have to do IXL. Your, your IXL week begins again. This week, boys and girls, we're going to work on V10. And you're also going to work with another IXL lesson that says new. It's under V10. And it says new. Compose three-dimensional shapes. Or compose, yeah, compose three-dimensional shapes. All right, so this is the name. It says compose new three-dimensional shapes. Oh, no, it's not going to fit there. It's all right. You got the idea. All right, so these are the two IXLs in which you're going to work this week. You're going to work on V10 and on the next lesson. The next lesson doesn't have a number. Um, it, has some, it says something. It says new, nuevo, compose new three-dimensional shapes. Estos son los IXLs en los que vamos a trabajar esta semana. Vamos a trabajar en el V.10 y en la siguiente lección que dice new, compose new three-dimensional shapes. Okay, so these are your two lessons for IXL for math this week. Well, see you later for science, boys and girls. Bye.